oil in the system, you can run the R11 flush through there. Which means you gotta, you know, when you pull your E valve out, and you gotta flush it through the coil up top, and then it'll come out either end, depending on which line you're going. And that's messy, and you gotta have everything apart. Well, you can we can kind of go over that once we have everything opened up. But uh, now it's time to tear shit apart. first. Damn, they really finagled that shit. We're gonna have to do some better better work than they did, that's for sure. Alright, we'll do we'll do compressor first. God, did, what the fuck did they do? You do fucking morons? I like spaghetti. I'm fucking wrap everything out there as it is spaghetti. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Huh? Just fucking taped off the. Don't do that, kids. The ground wire. What the fuck? Dude? They don't. They, they didn't ground the ground. I'm just pulling off all the all the wire on the compressor. Yeah. Compressor fan motor. They grounded the fan motor, but not the compressor to the. More ants! More ants! <laughs> Bill likes to not organize his wiring. Bill's a dumbass. Don't be like Bill. Bill's an asshole. <laughs> you guys seen those things? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so we will begin our compressor swap. Are you recording? Okay. Um, <coughs> I just went ahead and removed all the wires from the, the switch on the compressor. We'll go ahead and slice into our return line here. These are uh, uh, thermocouples, uh, temperature sensors that we never use. We're never going to use these. Um, I always put them back just so, you know, like a text, they have a little plug thing that they use in the back to measure temps in different parts of the uh, system. But if we need, if we want to do that, we do it with our own temp sensor manually. Um, the good old fashioned thing. Yeah. Just like, uh, just like the back in the day. So I'm going to take everything off of the, uh, uh, this is the output line. This is the high high pressure. You know, the the freon enters through the return line. God, you see that big freaking? You got a big pipe going into the little pipe into the littler pipe. Uh, um, so it goes into the compressor while it's running. It goes into the compressor here. It uh, enters the dome and then it takes it from the dome and then puts it out to a high pressure. Uh, gas here, very hot, and it goes into your coil, blah 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 blah. Um, so, you know, remove everything from these lines, get your wires out of the way. A lot, of, you know, you want to kind of keep track. I usually just scribble a little, like, a little number in here, like five uh, over here, and then six down here, so you can kind of see, okay, five's up here, six is over here. Those aren't the numbers on this one, because uh, I forgot which one came off. Of. But <laughs> don't worry about it, because we don't use that anyway. Um, and then, uh, then we get torching. Time to get torches. <laughs> 